Yeah, I got into blacksmithing a few years ago and I think it was from a lot of different angles, one of which was definitely the historical aspect. Uh, the shaping and smithing of metals has been done for thousands of years by people across the globe. I'm by no means a master or even close. It was suggested that I could put some of that skill to use for the trek in making a plaque, uh, melting down some brass or some bronze into something that we could take with us uh, that would be there after we'd gone um, and would tell people why we did it and what had happened and what we were commemorating. The reason I got my hair off was actually Kendon's idea. He suggested we could use it as a way to raise funds for the trek and I thought, why not? Due for a change, my grandmother hates it. I've always loved history. I grew up reading all about ancient Greeks, ancient Romans, Egyptians, medieval history. Lots of my favorite fiction books also tend to be the ones where there's a great journey. So my favorite book would be Lord of the Rings by Tolkien. And that's essentially one big hike through the wilderness. It's always been really appealing to me to go on a big adventure, go on a long journey. Really test myself that way, see what it's like to go days on days on days through the jungle or the wilderness or the forest or any, any wild place really where it's still remote. My parents took us camping fairly regularly so I was exposed to bush and trees and wilderness from a pretty young age. Yeah, and I really, I really got to appreciate nature learn a love of outdoor spaces. I still do that regularly now, and I've actually taken it in a different direction recently, where I've started making my own gear, uh, making my own equipment, my own tarp, instead of carrying a tent that someone's made. And I've really appreciated that new injection of challenge, I guess. And it's a new challenge and it forces you to learn new skills and be more aware of what's around you. I'm very grateful and humbled that I was offered, because essentially, a lot of work has been done much before I even heard about the project, let alone came onto it. Amazing to have the opportunity to walk through one of the remotest parts of the world uh, while also commemorating the lives of people that have gone before, people that not many people know about and I certainly didn't know about before I joined this project, uh, while at the same time raising money for people that are still in that country now who really need the help. Uh, it's a trifecta I couldn't resist. My desire to think deeply and well-roundedly about important issues connects with the Trek quite directly in our partnership with um, the Burnett Institute. I think every person has a responsibility if they're in a position to help others to do so. And I'm really glad that we're partnered with the Burnett Institute. I don't think just going for a hike through the jungle because you can is necessarily good in itself. And so, I'm really glad that there's a partnership there that's doing good for the places we're going through and the people we'll be seeing. I would say I'm very excited to be going, but it's not an excitement that is without apprehension. I'm aware of the problems we could face, uh, whether it be keeping it together for 30 days on such a long and arduous hike or the political aspect. And the danger for me is not actually a reason not to go because Part of adventure, I think, is intrinsically pushing boundaries, pushing limits. It's such a daring trek to be doing through such a remote area that you can't do it without the element of risk in it. But I am very excited to be going. I think it'll be an incredible journey, and I hope to be looking back on it and using it to do a lot of good into the future as well.